Wow this movie is actually scary, but this is not the most popular movie of all time. Me and my friends saw this 26 years ago at the movies and we just saw this yesterday to celebrate 26th anniversary as we are now full. Grown adults 33 years old I own the DVD. This is a great suspense movie. Keep in mind this movie came out years before social media in 2005. The only thing we had in 97 was I believe message board said most Brian D. Palmer never makes boring movies. Bad ones, yes, but not though. Snake Eyes has a nickel and dime storyline that doesn't transfer into a $100 mystery. Energy and style and Nicholas Cage at full throttle almost excuse the banality of a been there plot. Cage's character, Rick Santoro, is unusual for a modern movie hero, being a thoroughly corrupt Atlantic City detective, who revels in the filth of it. I was made for this sewer, baby, he exclaims. I am the king. Not quite. He wants to be mayor. He wants to be on TV. He wants to live with rat piss and control the power. Copy picture cage lets rip, which can be scary, because you never know when he's going to vomit rage, or break the furniture. Santoro behaves like he's heavily into cocaine abuse, although there is no evidence of this, other than a high-velocity personality that feeds off adrenaline. If Atlantic City is a hooker in a spangled micro, Santoro takes his cut and shouts hey-ho. To the great American dream. On the evening of a big fight, when heavyweight champ, Lincoln Tyler, Stan Shaw, is defending his title in front of a packed home crowd, Secretary of Defense, Charles Kirkland, Joel, Fabiani, is shot in the throat by a Middle Eastern gunman. Kevin Dunn, Gary Sneeze, an old-school pal of Santoro's, a Navy commander assigned to the Defense Department and in charge of security, feels responsible, even though he dispatched the killer before they could escape or talk. Santoro, who was sitting one row in front of Kirkland takes charge and orders the stadium gates to be closed, so that witnesses can be interviewed. He confides in Dunn about the girl, Carla Gugino, with a peroxide wig, who gave the secretary an envelope, seconds before he was shot, and then vanished. Also, who was that bimbo with the long red curls? And why did Dunn leave a seat to talk to her? As for Tyler, his actions during the fight demand investigation. What appears to be an act of international terrorism evolves soon enough into a corporate conspiracy of devious double crossage, with Santoro stuck in the middle, refusing, for once, to be paid off. De Palma uses the Russian technique of replay and then murder sequence from different viewpoints and interrupting flashbacks with expert ease. The problem is neither Cage nor the concept. It is the story. Starring Nicholas Cage, Gary Sneeze, John Hurd, Carla Gugino, Stan Shaw, Kevin Dunn, Michael Rispoli, Joe Fabiani, Luis Guzman, David Anthony Higgins, Mike Starr Year, 1998 Runtime, 98 Minutes Country, U.S.